so today we're going to go in and do an eyeshadow look. Um, I'm going to keep the eyeshadows themselves pretty simple, just use a couple of them. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this eyeliner here. I want to do something kind of dramatic and give it a pop of color. So that's what we're going to be doing with this shade here. I've had this for a while and I always go to use it and then either don't or I never know how really what colors to use it with. So we're going to play around with it today and figure out what to do. Um, so let's get started. First we're going in with some Anastasia Beverly Hill colors. We're going to be using the shade Orange Soda. This shade here is a great um, transi transition shade or a crease shade. Um, so that's going to be using it for today more in my um, just crease area, not as an actual like crease shade, just kind of to, to transition that area um, up there. And you just want to do windshield wiper motions until that's applied to your liking. take this shade right here and this is Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to put this more directly into my crease to kind of darken that area up. <laughs> shade here and this is a makeup geek shade and this is cocoa bear and I'm going to take it with a pencil brush just to define that crease just a little bit more <laughs> blending brush and just blend everything together that way there's no harsh lines then for our lid color I'm gonna go in with this shade here just a very nude um, matte shade and apply that directly to the lid <laughs> my face makeup and I will be back in a second. Hey guys, so I have finished the rest of my face makeup so now I'm going to go in and do the eyeliner. And this is the Morphe um, eyeliner in Aqua. I'm going to be using the Royal Lincoln Brow Angle Brush. Um, I'm going to use this one because it's really, really pointy and small. So I want to do that for um, my wing today. I want to make it small, so I'm going to use this brush instead of an angled um, liner brush. But um, I'm going to be spritzing it with some MAC Prep and Prime to kind of help this product because it's just a little dry. And then we're just going to go in and do a wing. <laughs> Thank you. 
trouble because it is really dried out. So I'm going to go over this with an eyeshadow. Um, but it did work, so you can still see the blue, but I wanted a little bit more intense. Um, so I'm going to go over that. I'm going to have to get some Inglot, though, um, and see if I can revive this because it is just way too dry. Um, but the MAC Fix Prime, or MAC Prep and Prime is working pretty well. So if you have a dry eyeshadow, or eye liner and you need something to help you can try this um it is working for me with this it's just taking a lot i feel like the inglot from what i've heard probably will work a little bit better but i don't have any so i'm using this so now that we've done the blue liner that you can barely see because it wasn't working i'm going to go in with an eyeshadow this one here from makeup geek and this is pegasus and I'm going to go over that really quickly and just make that kind of stand out a little bit more. see it really stands out and that gave it a little bit of shimmer so I really like that finished look there and I just messed up that eyeshadow. then for the bottom lash line I'm gonna go in with the two shades that I use that on the top and smudge those out on the bottom with my Rimmel Nude um, Eyeliner and put that in my waterline. Then we're going to curl our lashes. And for mascara today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Light Camera Flashes Mascara. on the bottom lash line as well. 